Ukrainian military shelled Donetsk all day on January 20, 2015. Five locals were killed, 26 locals were injured. Further, British journalist Graham Phillips filmed how Ukrainian military are shelling residential area around the bus station Kievsky Rais Polkom. Attack of Ukrainian army on Donetsk airport was failed yesterday. Novorossian military's units, Sparta and Somali destroyed the storm group of Ukrainian army. Eight Ukrainian soldiers and tanks were captured. Later, pro Kyiv soldiers said that they are scared and don't want to fight, but they were deceived by officers. But we remember that they weren't scared and deceived when they were killing locals. The group of hacktivists CyberBurkut published letters and cryptograms of Ukraine's SBU anti-terrorist center, containing information about the involvement of Ukrainian security forces in the Volnovakha bus incident. Documents are confirming that the attack could have been planned and carried out by SBU office in Donetsk region. They also contained information about how Ukrainian security forces used the incident for political purposes. In a confidential letter from January 13, SBU first deputy head Basil Gritsak instructed Gennady Kuznetsov, head of the Center A of SBU Anti-Terrorist Center, to carry out a provocative campaign aimed at laying the blame for civilian deaths on independent supporters in Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics. Gritsak ordered to plan and submit proposals for provocative actions which would help to charge DPR and LPR militias with civilian deaths. CyberBurkut also published a cryptogram where employees of the SBU office in Donetsk reported they had implemented a propaganda campaign to make the required informational impact on Ukraine's population. The cryptogram was sent from SBU office in Donetsk region to Kyiv and Kramatorsk. The network also released a list of media publications accusing independent supporters of shelling the bus. We remember the passenger bus shelled near Volnovakha, south of the city of Donetsk, on January 13. The incident left 10 people dead and 17 injured. Ukrainian propaganda demanded the casualties. Same time Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko came to the World Economic Forum in Davos on January 21, 2015. Ukrainian delegation led by Poroshenko is hoping to get financial aid for continuing punitive operation in Donbas. If Petro Poroshenko will not stop and he will raise financial aid, then punitive operation will be continued. And more and more civilians will be killed by Ukrainian military. According to media reports, only for the last 24 hours Ukrainian military killed 35 and injured 56 locals in Donbas region. We appeal to all our not indifferent people who have contacts in Davos. The lives of locals of Donbas are dependent from you. Spread this message. Make rallies and pickets. Claim Poroshenko killer and the PLT international community don't supply Kiev's regime. This is the real chance to save lives of civilians. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.